Hi, and welcome to Bible Bites. Do you have a favorite sports team? Maybe you like football or American football or soccer or whatever. There's a ton of different sports out there. I personally am a big Packers fan, and I was super sad when they didn't make it to the Super Bowl this year, but you know what? There's always next year. So today we're going to look at what it's like to be on God's team. Stay tuned to find out more. And welcome back. If you want to turn your Bibles with me, we're going to be reading from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 16. It says, If anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. Now this is a really powerful verse because if you were a believer in Jesus, no matter where you live, you probably are going to get some flack for it. Um, in some countries more than others, it's more severe. And that is, this verse means even more to people that live in persecuted countries. So wherever you live, first of all, let's glorify God in his name for being, if you're suffering for Christ. Um, if you live in America, you're very blessed that you don't have a ton of persecution. You might get teased. Um, I remember getting teased when I was, I think, in sixth grade. Someone called me um, uh, a fruitcake for believing in Jesus. Um, not a very great insult. And me being great at comebacks, I said, I'm not a fruitcake, I'm a Jesus cake. And it kind of gave them, like, what? And tried not to be embarrassed by my awful comeback, but I was like, I'm not going to take that. I love Jesus, and I'm not going to be ashamed for <laughs> believing in him. Now, what we're supposed to do is glorify God in being in whatever we're suffering in. So how can we do that? If you're having, uh, if you're facing persecution where you are, like, praise God for that because when you get to heaven someday you're going to be rewarded for that. So how can we praise God for that? Well, let's praise him together. Maybe when you're in a group setting or in one-on-one, -on -one, you can share that with other people. Be like, hey, this happened to me today or I'm feeling like I'm under attack because of what I believe. You can share that with a friend or in your small group or something. Share that and don't be braggy about it, but say, hey, can you pray for me? Praise God that, like, I have this opportunity to be a witness uh, for Jesus, and even if it didn't go well. Praise God for that. And maybe you can pray for others in other countries. If you're a Christian that lives in America or another country where it's not a big deal to be a Christian, there's growing persecution in America that Someday it might be really bad. We don't know. Um, but one thing that you can do is pray for others in other countries. If you look up Voice of the Martyrs, you can go to their website and just pray for others that are living in persecuted countries and pray for them. You can do that in your small group or do that during discipleship or even on your own. Pray for others that are living in those really persecuted areas. And then lastly, I love that this verse says uh, not only are we supposed to glorify God, but we're not supposed to be ashamed, right? Sometimes it can feel like you want to feel embarrassed, but don't be embarrassed to believe in Jesus. That's not how we're supposed to feel. That's the enemy making us want to feel like that. I remember when I was in sixth grade and I got called out and I was like, why do I feel embarrassed to be believe in Jesus? I shouldn't feel like that. I should feel... Um, honored and praise God for his, that opportunity, no matter how small it, it was, very minute. Don't feel ashamed when you are suffering for God's name or for Jesus' name. I asked you earlier if you had a favorite sports team. I said that I really loved the Green Bay Packers. 
Just because they lost doesn't mean that I'm not going to stop following them or like cheering them on, right? It's If you suffer as a Christian, it's not like you're going to be like, forget this. No, you're going to keep on that team. You're going to keep on Team Jesus and keep going even if you're not winning all of the battles. Keep going in Jesus' name. So I, that's my encouragement for you guys today. We are all on God's team together, all of us brothers and sisters in Christ. So let's pray for each other around the world and don't jump off the team when it gets hard. I'm praying for you. I hope you'll be praying for us too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.